Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking, speaking to you from EBA Day 2022 in Vienna. And joining me is Thomas Egner of EBA. We're talking about Know Your Customer, KYC. Thomas, hello. Hello, Debbie. Nice to meet you. Lovely to be with you in person and not across a computer screen. Indeed. Is it not? It's nice. <laughs> so, KYC. EBA has been working or running with an expert group on the subject. Why do we need work or action in this area? Well, Debbie, I think that's not only a good question, but it's a key question. Mm -hmm. And KYC requirements are currently not yet regulated on a pan-European level. And this is really hampering um, a good process, digital process is on the side of the customers, but also on the side of the banks. And I think that's really relevant for the institutions and for the industry. So we have been asked by a group of banks uh, last year how the EBA could help and remedy the situation. And we've created a working group to look into the topic of KYC and come up with potential standards and potential uh, uh, solutions to this problem. Um, we have created a working group, which then, by the way, ended up by delivering a standard, the CEBA um, Common Baseline Classification Standard, um, as I said, delivered by end of this year. And can you tell me a little bit more about this um, CBCS that you've just mentioned? It was Common Baseline Classification, classification standard. standard. Indeed. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and also how does that, CBC, CBCS, how does that help banks and their customers? Yes. Um, the baseline classification standard is a kind of taxonomy uh, which is used in the relationship between a corporate customer and a bank. Uh, the relationship or the, the standard uh, the baseline covers is low risk situations. So it's not complex risk situations, it's really low risk situations. The taxonomy is a collection of data fields which then need to be harmonized across the industry um, between banks but also um, on country level, so between different uh, countries. The idea behind the standard is to deliver a kind of, well, uniform set of data points which then is to be applied by banks and also by corporate customers to drive digitalization in the process. And the standard, the taxonomy, is then harmonized across the full industry. And what sort of areas are we talking about? Could you give us an example where you wish to set a standard? Well, the standard mainly covers um, the way natural persons and corporate customers are identified. Here we speak about UBOs, um, ultimate beneficial owners. We do have different rules, how different banks classify uh, the UBOs, but also how different countries uh, require that the UBOs are identified. And we came up uh, to a joint view on the topic and we tried to standardize this. So that is um, the standard, the taxonomy. We, by the way, have also published on our website. It's publicly available and accessible for the full ecosystem. Great. So if somebody wants to research that, they can have a look. Indeed, indeed. It's uh, free, downloadable regardless if you're a member of the association or not. We've done that to drive the topic, to help the industry, to deal with the topic of KYC, and also to, to promote its usage on a pan-European level, um, to drive, as I said, digitalization in the industry, both for the sake of the customers, but also for the banks. Mm. So both sides are very important to the topic. Okay, great. Well, that's good to hear that people can access yes. that and download it. And what else is on the agenda for the KYC group? Yes, so the creation of the common baseline was phase one. Uh, as I said, the baseline is just a collection of data fields. Now in phase two, we are looking how to populate these data fields. This is also a very interesting experience because we see how banks in different countries populate that. And we felt that this is very necessary to provide a feeling uh, for the industry to see the different items which are used to populate these data fields. We hope that we uh, finalize the phase two by end of Q3 this year. And we think that it's further a step into promoting the standard, promoting the taxonomy, helping the industry to understand what's going on and how to drive digitalization and reduce um, the topic of um, different KYC standards across Europe 
and by the use of a harmonized standard. Excellent. So work is still in progress and more work, to be delivered. Indeed. Work as far as uh, phase two is considered is still in progress. Phase one is delivered and, as I said, ready to be downloaded by the industry from our website. Wonderful. And is that the EBA website? That's the website of the association, indeed. Okay, wonderful. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Debbie. And have a nice EBA day. Thank you. Thank you.